Can you believe this, guys? Look at this beauty. What's up, Supercar Blondie here at the home of Rolls Royce. I've literally flown in for three hours to the UK today show you this incredible car. So Rolls Royce, massive thank you to you guys for setting this up. This is really quite, it's ruining my shot. What we're doing here today is actually really, really special. They have probably for the first time in years, brought this car especially for the Supercar Blondie channel today. So please make sure to subscribe to the channel, click that bell and you'll be one of the first to watch the videos as soon as they drop. Okay. Let's get straight to it. I want to show you this. This is the Rolls Royce of the future, you guys. This car was built for 2035. Take a look at this. This is how the wheel moves to turn the car. And this is partially closed off for better aerodynamics. Guys, just oh, look, we'll talk about this in, in as we go around, but I just want to show you the major details first. Take a look at this. What happens here? Here are the initials of the Rolls Royce founders, Rolls and Royce. So the luggage is delivered to you because Rolls Royce is all about the ultimate luxury. So instead of in the future having to dive into the trunk and pull out the luggage, it's delivered to you on the side of the car at hand height. Easy. Unless you're, you know, seven foot tall. You pull that out. Well, the bellboy pulls it out, right? And off you go. And they deliver that discreetly to the hotel room. And look at this, you guys. They thought of everything. The Rolls Royce badge here is also weighted. Look, just as the wheels are on the car. That's pretty cool. All right, now, for probably the coolest moment, we're gonna see how the car opens. Oh wait, let me put this luggage back, shall I? Oh no, I won't. <laughs> I'll leave it out. Okay, let's take a look at how the car opens. Check this out. And a lounge chair, a silk lounge chair is revealed. And this is the cool thing, you guys. Look. You stand up, you can be fully standing getting into the car, getting in and out. Because, of course, you don't want to duck, right? Like, that's just uncomfortable ducking into a car. So, they thought, well, let's just make the car open high enough so that you can just get in standing and then sit down on the silk couch. This is silk, and then this is hand woven wool carpet, so thick and soft. And then this wood here is Makassar wood. This is a dark wood, and look how the, the wood is just completely straight, these lines. So to get massive wooden panels like that is really hard to do in this wall, so that's really special. As you might have noticed, there is no steering wheel. They are going towards an autonomous future. What is quite interesting is when you think about Rolls Royce, you could say that they've kind of been autonomous from the very beginning because Rolls-Royce traditionally was a driverless car, as in you would be chauffeured by someone else. When you bought a Rolls-Royce, you would literally be in the back, lounging around, enjoying the drive and having someone else chauffeur you. So in a way, it's kind of the same concept, but bringing it into a different future. It's fully autonomous, there is no driver, and it is fully electric as well. There are a few things here that consistently run through Rolls-Royce and Rolls-Royce cars, and they didn't want to completely get rid of them in future. And one of them is the analog clock here. But it's kind of updated, as you can see. There are cool little lights here that shows the hour, and then the minutes hand here as it goes around, but still analog clock. And also take a look at this. Boom. You got yourself a Rolls Royce umbrella. In all Rolls Royces, you will find these beautifully branded Rolls Royce umbrellas and they go here on the side of the door. There are two here. There's only one door that opens. So you've got both umbrellas on this door because that one over there doesn't open. At night, 
unfortunately we cannot see it at the moment because we happen to be in England on the only sunny day of the year and so we can't see this particular pro um, projection. There is a light here that projects onto the ground this light all the way down here so it looks like a red carpet never seen that before the ultimate luxury experience every time you get into your car you're walking on a red carpet to get in this is special too so you see the red um, the badge Rolls-Royce is in red on this car and that is because all of their experimental cars get this red badge normally on a Rolls-Royce they're silver and black mainly but this car is actually called the Rolls-Royce 103 EX 103 standing for this is the 103rd experimental car from Rolls-Royce and EX experimental. Let's have a look at the overall form of the car, the design. <laughs> You can see this massive wheel arch here and then this goes all the way through here. This is for two reasons. One, better uh, aerodynamics. So they're thinking in future, this car fully autonomous, going down the road, probably once all cars are autonomous, maybe driving, you know, 300 kilometers an hour, just running with the traffic. So they made the car really aerodynamic. They were focusing on that. Like I'm feeling like I'm feeling Hello, I'm Eleanor. Oh, hi. The Rolls Royce Spirit of Ecstasy. Hello. I'm able to be here with you for the first time in over 100 years, thanks to this visionary experimental car from Rolls Royce. Now, let's run through your evening itinerary. Looks like I'm not doing anything tonight. <laughs> um, so this is Eleanor, she is your AI, your artificial intelligence um, bot or person. I know from your diary that you are due to attend a rather special charity auction in aid of the Governor's Foundation. It starts at 8pm. If you can be ready in the next 20 minutes. If you're stuck in traffic, then Eleanor will actually call ahead and to wherever you're going and say, listen, she's going to be five minutes late. The most exciting bit, we're going to go for a drive. Let's just pack her up. We've got this luggage here. Put this away. the Rolls-Royce Vision. Now we are getting into the new Phantom and we're going to head back to Switzerland. A massive thank you to the team who are kind of behind the camera there or not. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Thanks Rolls-Royce. You've been awesome. Here we are. This is the new Phantom. I've got another whole video coming out on my YouTube channel on this car. I drove it for a few days in Frankfurt, but at the moment we're getting very kindly show. <laughs> it's telling me to leave. Leave already. You've been here for three hours. It's long enough. Nice to meet you. Starlight ceiling. You can get these stars in any um, formation that you want to. So now we're flying um, to Switzerland in a beautiful little private jet. Look guys, 
I had three hours to film this car onto the next shoot, so we had to fly in quickly, fly back out again straight away. All right, guys, like the video, give us a quick thumbs up, subscribe to the Supercar Blondie family if you haven't already. Love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you. Massive thank you to Rolls Royce for having me here today. Oh, look, the Phantom's just pulling out. <laughs> that is a way to travel, you guys. Wow. Chauffeur in the new Phantom straight onto the runway. Private jet back to Switzerland. Wow. Pinch me. Amazing. Let's go. Seatbelts.